Namaste everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today let us talk about Python flow control. Okay, let me copy paste this here, name. All right, Python flow control. So you're writing a function, you're writing some code and you want, there's a huge flow to it, right? Start to end, you're performing some actions in between and you want to control that flow based on some conditions. So how do you do it? Last time we checked uh, some of the flow control elements like if, else if, that is elif and else, they are also called conditional statements, but they're also flow control elements. And these break, continue, pass are also flow control elements. So let's define a range here. R is range zero to 22. Now let me print R, this is R. So for I in R, print I. So I just looped through this particular range. I'm printing out all the numbers, zero till 22. It's not zero to 22, zero till 22. Now let me do again for I in R, if, i modulus 2 is 0 that is reminder is nothing then break else print i so what does it mean as soon as the if condition i modulus 2 0 is true or met it breaks ends the flow a loop in this case so so the for loop breaks at the first number itself because the first number uh, 0 modulus 2 is 0 so it will break obviously at the first number itself so, yep, but how do I know that happened? I'll show you right after this to breaks the flow. Now let's take this again, copy, paste here. I'm gonna do five, yeah? So what I'm telling Python is break the flow if i is um, if i modulus that is reminder i modul modulus 5 is 0 nothing okay let's take a simple one i is 5, right? If i is equal to 5. There you go. For i in r, if i equals 5, break, else, print the i. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right, in this entire range. Uh, it was printing as soon as it reached 5 it broke the flow let's uh, do another one here instead of 5 maybe we can uh, okay let's say 10 same thing it counts or it prints till 9 as soon as it reaches 10 this condition becomes true it breaks so let me Let's do the opposite of it. Hmm. Instead of break, I want to say continue and see what happens here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 becomes true. So it will continue from there. It will exclude the condition which is met or which made it true. And then it skips that element. It continues from the next one. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 i is equal to 5 so it will not print that out 
but it will continue from the next one six seven eight nine ten so what exactly it means is continue does the opposite of break it continues I hope the font is big enough here it continues the flow and condition is met but it skips the element which made the condition true what we can do here is we can take the same thing let's do one more thing here percentage to zero so what it will do is it will skip all the elements where that particular element is divide uh, is divisible by two that means all even numbers are skipped including zero only odd numbers are printed out this is one way of printing out you know, even odd numbers you can take the same thing if you want to print out just the equal right do this and it will print only the even numbers let's take the what should we take now let's take this and I'm gonna paste this here now we looked at break we looked at continue let us look at pass pass is neutral so it does nothing break breaks continue continues pass does nothing so let me print this out zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hmm, interesting right then what if i say pass here see it prints out everything doesn't matter so why is pass used then well pass is used it's also called a placeholder function or placeholder hmm, action let's say you are writing a function and there are a lot of uh, conditions that you are using and if a condition is true you have not actually decided what to do um, let's say you have an item you are writing a function for if the item uh, is only one in the inventory then you go ahead and probably increase the price let's say you are working for an airplane company and there are on, uh, on an airplane there are 20 seats only two are left so you want to hike up the price if the seats left are only five then the price is going to be plus 10 percent uh, or plus five percent if the seats are only uh, two or one or two then it's like 20 percent or something but your boss has not yet given you the value how much by how much percentage you have to increase the rate of the airplane tickets so what you do is you just type pass here and you finish off rest of the function and your boss tells you okay later okay well, the marketing team has decided that if the number of seats left are more than five then you make it plus ten percent if they are less than five then make it plus 50 percent right just just throwing out the numbers there then you go ahead and write that logic so um, i think we took a look at these three cute python things here let me do it break breaks the flow when the condition is met continue continues with the flow when the condition is met skips the element which met the condition pass does nothing when a condition is met it is often used as a placeholder function where you have not yet decided what to do or do if a condition is met i think that's all i have for now for this thank you for joining in you have a great one take care